Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliance's, visit www.alliances.com. Now, back to our super host, David Kogan, founder of Alliance's. I can't hold my excitement any longer because you see, this is a historical moment for Alliance's Hero Show. We have brought you many well-recognized names, some of the CEOs who run the largest companies in the world. But our next guest is what some may consider as the highest political position in the world. Yes, very high. We have the President of the United Nations General Assembly's 70th Session, Moshe Ligitov. Good morning to you. My first question to you, though, is how does someone become the president of the United Nations? It's a, a rotation position going uh, between five different regional groups uh, for one year. Uh, you, are, you are there, and I'm in the Western Regional Group, being a Dane. And uh, what, what you do when you come up as a regional group is you try, one country try, is to, to get their candidate elected within the group, and if there's a consensus around that, uh, that will be the president for the coming year. And that's what happened uh, in, in, in uh, this year. There was no other candidates from the Western group, so I was, uh, I was elected uh, without any opponent. Incredible. Can there ever be complete world peace, in your view? I'm afraid not, but I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure that we can do much more to contain conflicts and avoid conflicts than we are actually doing. And one of the, the most serious shortcomings of the United Nations, of course, is that the Security Council, whose uh, role it is to uh, take care of peace and security, have not got their acts together in very serious conflicts that the one in in Syria, for instance, but also a number of other conflicts. Uh, and that has created uh, humanitarian catastrophes uh, unprecedented since World War II that these conflicts have, have, have continued for years. Now, Mr. Likatov, you are as president of the United Nations. You're also a family man. You have two daughters, five grandsons. What, right, is, yeah. what is the most important lesson in life we could teach children so they can become contributors to the world and to make, a, make it better like you have and continue to try and do? I think uh, the most important is to, to uh, realize, to face the existential uh, challenges we as a, human, as a common humanity uh, are facing. I mean, uh, the, the, the need for a much more sustainable way of uh, providing energy, producing uh, and consuming. That was exactly what the United Nations uh, joined together on with the Sustainable Development Goals, the 17 Sustainable Development Goals last September. Uh, and, and, and in addition to that, the very, very important uh, leap forward uh, in in the fight against climate change and the Paris Agreement in December. You have to understand that these issues will only be solved uh, with common action around the globe and with very, very uh, deep transformations in the way we produce and consume. Uh, and and that this is an urgent call because, for instance, and not least climate change is there already and if we are not able to stop it it will for sure accelerate if it accelerates it will mean that not uh, 65 million people as we have right now displaced from their homes but hundreds of millions of people will be displaced because of uh, rising sea levels because of of uh, of uh, desertification of large areas uh, because of melting glaciers uh, and that will also soak up uh, resources to an unprecedented uh, uh, extent, uh, resources that we, needed, that we need 
So eradicate hunger, create education and health for all human rights. These uh, race, these resources will, will simply not be there if we should uh, face hundreds and hundreds of millions of people that have to move away from where they are and, and the conflicts that will be connected with with them pl- trying to move somewhere else. So we are in very, very, very uh, uh, great time pressure here. We have to act now, and that's what the, uh, makes the United Nations even more relevant than um, ever before. Understand. And you're listening to Alliance's Heroes, Be a Hero, with David Kogan. Go to where entrepreneurs align. Be part of the community. Alliances.com. That's E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com. We have the President of the United Nations, Moshe Likitov. In one minute, what's the most important thing you would like to address to the people of the United States of America? Don't do it against yourself and all the rest of us in humanity by electing Donald Trump as president of the United States. It will be uh, fatal for the whole arrangement of trying to change the world to a better place if a uh, an, an, uh, a climate denier uh, and an unpredictable personality like Donald Trump would be elected president of the United States of America. What did you learn from your first job that helped you throughout your career, including now serving as the president of the U.N.? So what was the first job that you had, and what did you learn from that that you carry over? <laughs> I, I had some, some small uh, uh, holiday jobs uh, very early. I, I don't think I learned a lot about uh, how to change the world there, but my first real job uh, as a student part-time was in what is called the Economic Council of the Danish Labour Movement, where I, I, I worked with a lot of, of uh, national and international issues uh, from a very early stage, at the same time being a political activist, student leader uh, at the time. So that's where I got the uh, fundament, so to say, to, to have all the knowledge about the world and the economy and uh, or whatever is necessary to, to be in this position. Now, we had a number of people ask questions, and one that got asked a few times is they would like to ask the President of the United Nations, what is the meaning of life to you? Well, that's, that's a very, uh, very difficult question to answer without being banal. But uh, I, I, I have, through all my life, I have tried to do the things I was uh, appointed to or asked to do as good I could uh, to to take uh, care of the broader uh, humanity that I was responsible for. I I, I remember from from uh, some a couple of months ago here in the UN we had a a. Uh, a translocation uh, for the students from the United Nations International School where where Secretary of State Kerry was there. He said something very, very uh, uh, good uh, that I aligned myself very much with. He said to these uh, uh, very uh, advanced students, you have had one of the best educations in this world. Now go out not just to earn money for yourself, but to do something good for your country and for this world. Excellent, excellent. Last question here. There's so much news and so many people writing and interpreting things about so much that's going out there. What do you find as the best way to find truth? Well, I think most times if you engage yourself and use time on what you hear and see, you sense where the truth lies, uh, but 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 you have you have not only to use five minutes every day on politics if you want to find the truth. Then you will be an easy victim for demagogues and uh, uh, loud-speaking uh, populists. Excellent. Well, someone who looks at the world and sees an opportunity for bringing separate nations together and impacting positive change 
as our hero. And thank you so much, President of the United Nations, Moshe Likitov. Thank you, too, to our producer, LoopyDocs.com, for all your editing needs. Go to L-U-P-I-D-O-C-S.com. Thank you again, David Kogan with Alliances. Alliances.